Hello everybody, welcome to Boscombe on a Friday afternoon. Uh, ten years ago, uh, tomorrow, I was my first day working at Faithworks and uh, we were in a tiny little office over there and Ruth and David were both cowering around trying to avoid the mould and uh, it wasn't looking like it was now, they, they knocked it all down and we went over there to, um, to one of the arcades for about six months uh, in a tiny tiny little place where we, uh, opposite there was a cafe and we had to go over there to go to the loo and get some water or a drink and it was uh, in the winter, it was blooming cold. Anyway. Um, we eventually ended up back in that office over there and that was my starting point to, uh, to Faithworks. And in those days, of course, it was a very different um, organisation. We had, here are some of the projects we had at the time. We had four food banks. Three of them had just started and one of them, uh, I think to say, fair to say, was, um, was coy about uh, telling many people about what we were doing. Uh, we had a project called Money Mates, which was uh, trying to give financial literacy to older people. So mm, Derek's work, you've been battling away Derek for 10 years in that sort of area. We had something called Meridian Friends. We had Friends Offering Carers Understanding and Support, otherwise known as Focus. We had a project which was for carers, obviously. We had a project called Compass, which also was an acronym. Communities, Older Members, Accessing Services and Support. It nearly makes Compass. And that was for uh, befriending older people. Uh, we had a homelessness outreach worker who resigned on my second day here. Um, thank you, David, you haven't done that. Uh, we had bridging communities and we had Smile, of course. Smile was one of the first projects that Faithworks was involved with. And um, anyway, a lot has happened in 10 years. We've got four times as many staff. We've got five times as much uh, costs and income to go alongside that. And so many people that actually you have helped along the way. We reckon it was about 7,000 something last year uh, directly helped to get out of crisis or on the journey out of crisis another 10,000 potentially who have benefited from, our, from that w work in a more indirect way. Um, and so many individual stories because that's what it's really about. I, Charlie was saying this week um, that the Star Life course has started again on Mondays and she said we saw somebody who hasn't been around the recovery work for a while but wanted to drop in because they're in a bit of a battle with cancer and they wanted the support that the Life course gave and uh, was so pleased to see them and so pleased to see the team and that's the sort of ongoing relational support work that you do so Thank you, thank you. Um, there's lots, I've, I put some of my reflections of the last 10 years onto LinkedIn and we'll get something onto the website. But a few, just a few key points to, for now that I wanted to say to you. Um, the work we do is now incredibly holistic. When I first came here, somebody said to me, and you won't get any more money out of us until we're clear about the story. And the story we have now of wanting to see a base in every community where there's friendship, support and hope, where there is a full range of support, wherever we are, there's a full range of support. That holistic support is such a change and it makes such a difference and, and is a unique, unique point about Faithworks. Um, we don't see a dip in the year anymore. I'm so aware that you guys are uh, facing an ongoing uh, level of demand which we've never known before and I'm so pleased that uh, the clinical supervision has work has started. I know you, some of you have had sessions already. really hope that's helpful and we'll try and spread it around more of you to give that extra support. Um, and, and the two other words that really came to mind for me was you didn't, I didn't expect that because every day is a I didn't expect that day. Some of them are good and some of them are not so good. Um, but the other word that comes to mind is grace. Um, immense grace that you have shown me and that we show each other and I think as a team we are uh, we're really good at supporting each other and, and preferring each other and the grace that God has shown me and shown us over these last 10 years as well and I want to bear fruit to that. Um, some of you know the West Wing, I'm a great fan of the West Wing and one of the things that President Bartlett does is that they have this big sort of thing and they talk about lots of stuff and they go right and, uh, and he turns to his, his chief of staff and says what's next? And let's talk about that over the next couple of weeks because there are some things that each of you are working on that it would be good to give some direction, uh, give some highlighting to over the next few weeks. But if, as long as we're doing it with you, I'm really happy. So I so appreciate you. There's a, um, I was looking at this sermon that I gave when I first came for my interview here to give a little sermon to the trustees of 10 minutes. But one of the things that uh, jumps out from, for me is uh, a verse at the top of Philippians, which says, I thank my God every time I remember you. And I pray with joy because of your partnership in the gospel, because he who began a good work in you will bring it to completion in Jesus. And that's what I think for you. You're going to bring that work to completion. Go well. Have a good week.